12 Important Signs of Dementia Dementia is a loss of previously acquired intellectual function without an impairment of arousal. Dementia is not a single disease. Instead, it is a term used to depict issues with memory, thinking, decision-making, and performing day-to-day -day tasks. Dementia is a chronic progressive syndrome caused by a variety of brain illnesses. It is not part of normal aging. The cognitive decline with aging is slow and allows the person to identify and create narrative and routines around these limitations. Dementia-like symptoms can appear under stress, intoxication, and with infections as well. The COVID-19 pandemic has potential to cause stress-related dementia, dementia due to infection and vascular clotting issues, and as an outcome of a severe disease episode. It's important for us to recognize the top warning signs of dementia. Let's review them. The first sign is short-term memory loss affecting day-to-day -day activities. The most striking part of the memory loss is forgetting the newly learned information. For example, what did they eat for breakfast, upcoming events, times for a new show they're watching, or asking the same question repeatedly, things like that. Patients might seek memory aids like notebooks or reminders due to this. A normal aging process related to cognitive lapse can be things like forgetting friends' names or important dates. Usually the person remembers these at a later time. In this instance, the forgetfulness is not related to new information learned, but it can be for any type of memory. Another sign is difficulty solving problems. The patient may have difficulty developing a plan or working with a plan. For example, a patient may find it difficult to follow a recipe that they have been making for a long time. Or they could start taking a longer time to do the same things that they used to do. A normal aging process can cause occasional errors. For example, while managing finances or paying bills. The third sign is difficulty performing familiar tasks. Patients have trouble executing routine tasks. For example, preparing food, driving to the grocery store, making a list of items to buy, or playing a game. On the other side of things in the normal aging process, you might have to occasionally ask for help with the microwave or with recording something on the TV. The next sign is confusion with time and place. Patients can lose track of seasons, days, and places. Patients might forget where they are or how they arrived there. Patients can sometimes even wander off in their neighborhood and get lost. If they were in a clinic, they might not even realize it, and they might also not know the day of the week or month. In normal aging, a person may become confused momentarily about the time and place, but later recall and reorient themselves. Now on to the next sign, which is trouble with abstract thinking, visual cues, and spatial relationships. A patient may develop vision problems. They might not understand some numbers and symbols. They might find it difficult to use a calculator. And they also might have issues judging distances and or determining the color and contrast. Such patients might find it difficult to recognize traffic light changes and drive safely. Dementia patients might develop tunnel vision, which can cause them to not be able to locate items placed near them that a person with a normal field of view can see. Normal aging can cause vision changes, for example, with cataracts and visual acuity. Another sign of dementia to keep your eye out for is new problems with speaking, thinking of words, writing, or spelling. Patients with dementia might have difficulty holding a conversation. They could stop mid-sentence as they forget the words they wanted to say. In this situation, their vocabulary may become reduced. They will attempt to find more descriptive words for various items and actions. For example, they might call a carrot orange cone things, or a watch a hand clock, or maybe they'll call gas go-go juice. In the early stages, patients might recognize the issues and even report it. However, as the disease progresses, patients will start avoiding conversations and events. I mean, after all, it can be embarrassing for them to sometimes have to refer to a carrot as an orange cone. 
In the normal aging process, we sometimes cannot recall the correct name or spelling of an item. However, we can identify and rectify the issue. Now let's move on to the next sign, which is misplacing things. Patients may start and continuously place things in inappropriate places. For example, ice cream in the oven instead of the freezer, a frying pan in the fridge, or keys somewhere safe where they cannot locate them by retracing their steps. In advanced cases of the disease, they might then blame others for losing them or stealing them. We all misplace things and can attempt to retrace and find them. This can happen with age, stress, and distractions. However, it is usually temporary and we can recognize the odd places where we unknowingly might have put something. Our next sign is impaired or poor judgment. Patients might have changes in decision making and judgment. They might become less careful with money and not groom themselves properly. With aging, we might make a bad decision once in a while. For example, not calling someone back or not changing our car oil on time. This next sign we've been kind of hinting at as we've been going through these signs, and that is withdrawal from social interactions. As we discussed earlier, dementia patients can have difficulty with vocabulary, speaking, time, location, orientation, and simple familiar tasks. This makes them uncomfortable in social situations. As the disease progresses, slowly the patient adapts to the situation and starts withdrawing from the social interactions or the interactions where they are challenged for not knowing something simple. Normal and age-related changes can make us sometimes uninterested in certain social events and situations. This sign is a little depressing. It is moods and personality changes. Dementia can cause confusion, anxiety, fear, and depression. The gradual progression of the disease allows the patient to observe their deterioration, which leads them to become nervous, anxious, and fearful. As discussed before, such patients start avoiding social events. Urging them to join such events or get out of their comfort zone can make them agitated to their loved one's surprise. As our age advances, we usually develop routines to do tasks, and a disruption of the routine or moving away from our comfort zone can make us uncomfortable. It's called the comfort zone for a reason, you know? We're almost to the end now. Our next sign is disinhibition. Patients with dementia might pass rude or tactless remarks about others and tastelessly discuss another person's appearance or an event. They might become bold and act outside of the social norms. They may even start flirting or making sexual comments. Demented patients may take their clothes off or fondle or masturbate in public. With the normal course of aging, some disinhibition may occur. For example, passing gas in public places or more boldly criticizing someone. However, the social norms are kept, and this disinhibition is different for each person. On to our final sign. This sign is probably the one that most people think of when they think of dementia. Hallucinations and false ideas. Patients with dementia might develop auditory or visual hallucination. They might think that others are out to get them, become suspicious, or declare themselves superhumans. Patients can develop paranoia, delusions, and misidentification issues. During normal aging, we can become reserved and suspicious given our experiences. However, we are able to tactfully manage situations where we are suspicious. Thank you for watching this video on dementia. You can find more fantastic lectures on drbean.com.